today we're going to be using weaving techniques to create a tapestry. The first thing we're going to do is choose a material for our loom. The loom is the frame that holds the yarn in place so you can weave. The easiest thing to use is going to be a piece of cardboard. You can also use a paper plate or poster board or anything that's sturdy like this. Think about how big you want your tapestry to be and cut your cardboard or paper plate or poster board into a rectangle that's as big as you want your tapestry to be. The first thing we're going to do is use scissors to cut small slits along both sides of our loom. You can measure these out if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just kind of guesstimate if you want. You wanna leave a little bit of space in between the slits like this. And you don't wanna cut them further than about this much, which is about half an inch if you're measuring with a ruler. So remember, this doesn't need to be exact. You can just kind of guesstimate. Use your scissors and cut down, trying to keep the spaces between your cuts even. Okay. Once one side is done, you're gonna move to the other side and you're going to cut the same number of slits across. So I did 11 on this side, so I wanna make sure I do 11 on this side. It doesn't matter how many you do, so long as it's the same on both sides. All right, once your sides have been cut, we're ready to wind our warp. Remember, the warp is the string that is vertical and it's the string that we start with in weaving. Now, if you don't have string at home, if you have an old t-shirt or piece of fabric, you can cut it into strips and this will work fine. Um, and if you don't have access to uh, yarn or string or fabric at home, skip to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how to weave using paper. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my string on one corner and bring it to the next corner like this. This is just measuring that I have enough. Then I can let it go. And I'm going to tuck the string into the first notch here, wrap it around the back, and then tuck it into the next notch on this side. Then you're going to keep moving the string around, moving it around the back of the cardboard and tucking it into the notches one at a time. When you're done, take the end on both sides and tie them together in the back. Once the ends are tied, your warp is ready to go. Remember the warp are the vertical strings or the strings that go up and down that we start with. Now we're ready to put in the weft or the horizontal strings that go side to side. So we have more flexibility with material here. If you have yarn or fabric, you can use that. But if you wanna get creative, you can also use strips of paper, or branches, or anything that we can put under and over these strings. If you're using yarn, you're gonna use your fingers, pick up the first string, and put the yarn under, then over the next one, then under, then over the next one, under, over, under, over. So your pattern is under the string, over the string, under, over, and then you're gonna pull it all the way through until there's just a little bit hanging at the end. Then you're gonna take the long end of the string and we're gonna go back the other way following the opposite pattern. So we ended with the string weft going underneath our last warp thread here. So now when I go back, it's gonna do the opposite and go over. So now it's gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and pull. Once you've pulled it all the way through, use your fingers to push it down. You wanna make sure that you're not pulling the string too much to where the warp is starting to come in. Just pull it to where it's touching the edge and then push it down with your fingers. And then we keep going, repeating opposite patterns. So now I'm back on this side, I'm gonna go under, over, all the way across. You can change your weft materials at any time. 
if you, whenever you are ready to change to a different color or a different material, just use your scissors to cut the end, save it for later, and pick up something new. So now I'm going to start again on this side and do the opposite. Over my first one, then under, then over, on and on. All right, once you've filled up your whole loom with different materials, you are done. Good job. Okay, artists, I'm gonna show you how to weave with paper if you don't have yarn or string or fabric at home. The first thing you wanna do is get a piece of paper that's going to serve as the warp strings, and you're going to cut long strips in this paper like this that go almost to the edge but stop. You can cut these strips as thinly as you want to. Just keep in mind the thinner the strips are, the more you're going to be weaving up and down. It's really important that you leave the top parts connected to hold the strings in place. We're going to start at the bottom of the paper here. Um, I marked the bottom with two different symbols to help me remember which ones I need to lift up. So if you want to do this, you can, but you don't have to. You're going to take your first weft string and you're going to lift up the first one, put it underneath, over. So it's going under, over, under, over, under. And you can see the symbols helped me in this way because I knew I lifted all of my hearts first. Then when you're done, carefully slide it all the way up to the top. Next, go back to the bottom and now we're gonna go in reverse. So now I'm going over the first one, under the next one, over, under, over. Or in this case, my smiley faces are the ones being lifted up. Then I slide it to the top. Keep repeating this step. Remember, always opposite, over, under, over, under, and then flip um, until you've woven the whole paper. Once you've filled up your whole paper, our very last step is to use tape to tape the bottom together, and that way your weft strings don't fall out. Good job, you're done.